Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode on Kabbalas and I've uh, been doing some stuff off camera, but there's something we got to go take care of first. I've been keeping an eye on this thing over here for a while and it's getting too close to home, so we need to go uh, yeah, take care of it. All right, where was it at now? There it is. Yeah, we have a Hatsig Optrix here. Hey. Okay, yeah, that stung a bit, though, didn't it? I love this part though. Oh wow. Okay, last time I tried this, it actually didn't even try the aerial drill. So, alright, yep. I'm taking it right to my house. Ah, the caves on this map, I swear. All right. So, yeah, I did this before on a uh, different Hatsy that was just down the way. Uh, this is the the new new Hatsy. There it is. Yeah, it's got almost 300,000 health now. Yeah, these things are basically like flying alphas is what they are, so. Oh hell, he aggroed from pretty... Ow. Pretty far away there, didn't he? I mean, the bleed's not horrible. But the thing already has done like 11,000 damage to me, so. Yeah, for some reason, the last one that I latched onto, uh, it basically it broke its AI. So, <laughs> it is up there waiting for me. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to shoot that underwater. All right. Yeah, the other one I took out, it might have been. The uh, old original Hatsy. Had Zegopteryx, really. Hmm. Hello, horse. Right, so let's try an alternate plan then. Well. <laughs> uh, Hatsy got itself stuck. Oh, dang it, did it again. Ah, it's the second time we've tried this, by the way. It keeps uh, destroying my outlet. Wow, fire does like nothing to that thing. 75 damage a tick from the fire. That is... Remarkably not great. Oh, missed. And it's hitting for close to a thousand per. <laughs> uh, you can cheese so many things though with a fire spitter. You really can. Oh, 
Okay, I count as being underwater. And so I can't shoot with this thing. What about this gun? Or the, the bow? Oh, I can draw it, but I can't actually release. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've got a new playmate. I mean, I managed to get this thing down like 88,000 so far, but uh... Yeah, okay, so right click is like the, the pop up and bot attack. Oh, now it can hit me though. And that was weird. Can I hit you? No, you can just attack through walls. Okay. So, what can I apparently? I have like put no levels really into this fire spitter either, so. Well, I mean, it's possible at this point. Oh, it did hit me twice with that though. I wonder. Oh, thank you for the lag spike game. All right, now. Nope, not quite, huh? You see this beak just poking out through the ground. Yep. We got a little bit of a standoff going on here, though. I got the problem fixed. I uh, took out the cable, used a different snap point, and the outlet is actually inside the building now. And apparently that turret is uh, immune to damage. Oh, it just ran out of ammo, though. Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. Now, it's possible to get a headshot for triple damage on this thing. I need to reload. I'm just not exactly sure where the headshot, you know, it, you know, the where I have to hit to get the headshot. It's like the crest almost. Yeah, fire is definitely not a good answer to the hat sig anymore, is it? Actually, it never really was. Man, I do have immersive taming in here. I really want something broken. I could try to immersive tame this thing. That'd be hilarious.
Let's just be any better here. Come on, load textures. There we go. And it's like no egg for me. Oh well. See, it died over here. They have like a 5% chance of dropping an egg. And uh, it doesn't seem to have happened. So, hey, you did get three levels out of that though. Um, yeah, I don't see one around. Uh, yep, nope, nothing down here, so... Nice thing about fire spitters. <laughs> Immunity to fall damage. All right. Well, let's get back to base where it's uh somewhat, you know, more peaceful now and kind of I can kind of show off a little bit of what I've been working on. Because, unfortunately, um, the OBS has been giving me issues uh, since the last update. And uh, it'll occasionally just, like, lock up and makes my entire computer stutter when it happens. So I was checking out uh, Shadowplay again. Well, I recorded two full episodes of Shadowplay. And then I realized it was actually capturing Firefox, not Arc. So all the sounds came through beautifully. No video. All right. Um, I went ahead and I uh, tamed up with Arizino. And uh, the uh, Eco's, oh, what is it, Highland Homes, I think is what the mod's called, uh, has been finally released, right? It's like basically open beta time. And so I went ahead and made some cabins. Uh, we've got the caravan wagon here, which pretty good amount of room inside. Uh, let's see, this goes on the giant wagon, which is what the Therizino is currently hooked up to. Uh, we've also got the medium wagon and then these storage boxes, which for like all but the smallest wagon, you have to add storage boxes to them so you actually have an inventory. The smallest wagon. <laughs> It comes with this little saddlebag in here, and it you can hook up a dodo to it. Uh, but yeah, it's got uh, 350 weight on this thing, which is kind of cool. It doesn't affect the dodo at all. Uh, then we got the next size up, which this is like your dialo size, and this one you actually have to add a storage box to. And it has 125 storage slots per. And it doesn't really seem like the weight of stuff in here affects the dialo any. Kind of cool. And I expect there we go. Uh, then we have this is the shop wagon, which basically is like a little food truck almost. This looks up to parasaurs, uh, parasaurs, sorry. And the doors right over here on this side. Little opening where you can serve people or whatnot, and an RP server would be over here. Uh, this is the caravan wagon. This is tied for the biggest. And this can be pulled by like a Therizino, Mammoth, Pariser, a Gotcha. Uh, I have Pariser hooked up to it, and if you go to first person view while you're steering these things, you're staring right at the Pariser's butt the whole time, and it takes up like almost all of your screen. So that Therizino, a better option. Not to mention, the is a little bit faster than uh, 
than Parasaur's are. And I had a pretty decent saddle for the Xeno as well. Uh, let's see, 146 armor. Not bad. And, uh, level 300 uh, Theri when I tamed her up. So, or tamed him up, sorry. But uh, let's go ahead and try to get the, the doors operate in an interesting way to put them in here. Oh, that's cool. So, look at these. Align the snap with a triangle near the back door frame of the giant wagon. Align the snap with a triangle near the back door. Okay, so you put one in first. All right, so you align this in right here. And then you take two, and two snaps to the side of one, right? It's an interesting way of doing it. And when you craft the wagon, you actually get a free door and those little, two little bits as well. And there we go. And that is just basically a frame of reference for this thing to know everything works. They even kind of creak a little bit whenever you move around. Apparently it's just high enough you take a little bit of fall damage hopping off. Uh, but yeah, made all the wagons, which they're all uh, they're all made over here in this little crafting table. And uh, wagons and saddles. And then there's also... Uh, where did I... I think I put him away, maybe? Looks like it. Uh, there's a Highland cow mob that's added in as well. And uh, let's see. Here we go. You have to find them as babies and uh, passive tame them that way. And immersive taming does not work on the cows, I noticed. So, yes, this is the incredible shaggy beast that is the Highland cow. And I tamed this one up at, uh, was, I think, level, I think, 40 wild. But only the babies. If they've grown up even, you know, to juvenile or adolescent stage, you can't tame them. So you have to find a baby in the wild. And these things spawn in, well, highlands, right? Base of mountains, so on and so forth. Incredibly dangerous areas, so... It's kind of annoying to find them on this map, anyway. Uh, the adults are actually fairly strong, though. But uh, a couple max-level direwolves... Well, a direwolf pack led by a max level alpha will just shred them. And they tend to spawn in the same areas. So, I found a lot of dead bodies everywhere. But, uh, not a whole lot of, uh, well, obviously, I found one baby. That was it. Uh, to, uh, feed the cows, though. They have special food. They have hay bales. Which you make hay in this drying rack. You just add in fiber, which it stopped because it ran out of room. Then you take this hay, dried hay, and you come over here to this wonderful chalet, and you drop it in here. And the chalet will compress the hay into hay bales for you. I just wish there was a stop animation button on this, which there unfortunately isn't. And then these are the actual food that the cows will eat. So... There you go. You can have that. Go ahead and pop out my red panda again. I may have died to the uh, the Hadzig twice. Surprised my red panda didn't die, though. I found out the hard way that that drill attack goes through walls. Yeah, that was not a pleasant surprise. Uh, next time I have to fight a Hadzig, I think I'm just going to bring Citadel over and take care of it that way. Put like four of those turrets on there, and... Oh god, Hatzig's bleed, though. Yeah, probably not a good idea then. Because Citadel dies, everything on the platform is just going to go down, so... Uh, something else I did was uh, Ingram's Plus, because of all the element and stuff we've been getting on this map. So I don't want to be able to use it. So, there's an option for auto-Ingrams that... 
uh, once you hit max level, aka 105 or higher, it will uh, automatically unlock all the tech ingrams for you. And I didn't realize it, but it, I mean, it unlocked everything. I mean, all the way up to level 120 here with the Astrodelpha saddle, which I'll never use. 135, actually. So, I mean, there's the repair station, uh, the tech stove, quick meat instant. I've never even gotten up to a level where I can make this stuff. Tech forge, melts metal ingots, wood into charcoal, organic polymer into polymer, and condensed gas into gas balls. Requires an Alpha King Titan trophy and 64 industrial forges. Uh, lavatory. X is a chem bench. Okay. Can do resource conversions to make fertilizer. Tech cooking pot. Make advanced recipes, kibble, and beer. Produces twice the amount of each recipe. Uh, pulls water from the air so it doesn't need irrigation, but requires a tech gen for power. And eight industrial cookers. Item translocator. Can send items instantly to other item translocators. Requires eight vaults. And then the tech refrigerator can fill water containers and resets the spoil timer of items placed inside. Wow, resets. Requires a Beta King Titan trophy. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And the tech stove requires a Gamma. Hmm. Too bad you can't fight the Titans on this map. That would be kind of, kind of nice, actually. But uh, yeah, we've got all the tech unlocked. Like this, I have no idea why these two saddles are all the way down here. Same with this, that's just odd. There's an Okopogo tech saddle and a Lake Van Monster tech saddle, though. Hmm, we have to tame Lake Van Monster. I think this is usually locked behind uh, killing an Alpha Snallygaster, which has not been in the Paranoia. I think it's the Paranoia mod. Yeah, it's got to be. Uh, for Since I found the mod, like, two years ago. So... It was removed for a TLC. It looks like it's getting closer to being a thing, but uh, still not a, still not a thing. Unassembled Exomech. Hmm. I don't know if I want an Exomech or not. There's the skiff. There's all the wonderful tech stuff. I could have set up a tech turret up there. As soon as element shards will firing. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, we can get a lot of element on this map with like no effort though. I just have to head down to the uh, aberration areas and stuff's everywhere. Not really complaining, but I decided I want to be able to use it, you know. Uh, something else I did is I tamed up a... It was a pretty high level for Uh 70, I think? 280, somewhere in there. Uh, so tamed up at level 420, which would be a 280. Okay. But... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, pretty decent stats, actually. And might, I don't know, breed some of them up. What I might do is just kind of cheese things a little bit uh, later on in the series and just, like, summon in the Titans. Uh, maybe set up a way through simple spawners to be able to summon the Titans into this map. Because uh, there's only the three island bosses. I don't even think there's a tech cave say on this map or I might just do another storyline playthrough afterwards do it leave a comment see what you or what, tell me what you'd prefer um yeah if I do another storyline playthrough we're definitely having the Highland Homes mod for Scorched Earth if nothing else uh speaking of which let's go ahead and get a uh get a treehouse uh plaster stone fences oh that's kind of cool Shop door, plaster cottage, lodge. Fancy log. Here we go. Darkwood tree house. Let's try that one. It weighs a pound. And it is huge. Alright, but if I can Yeah, that'll work. I was just trying to make it so that there wouldn't be any lampposts poking up through the floor. So yeah, we have ourselves actually a good amount of room in here too. And 
and I mean, you can definitely set up shop in here pretty decently. Uh, one thing I think I decided though, while you know, in a previous episode, was I need to move. I need to find a place on this map where there are fewer caves, so I can walk around my little compound and not constantly load and unload caves. Because that's exactly what that is. Uh, but oh, yeah, it's in the replicator queue, though. I have the size set to I think point two. I figured, why not? I just thought of something. I need to check something real quick. All right. Yep. No, unfortunately, um, I was checking to see if maybe there was a line, like a game user setting I and I line I could add so that I could uh, add different creatures to the uh, whitelist to be hitched up. Doesn't particularly look like it. A bit of a shame there. It would also be really cool is if there's an aberration themed one you can hook to a rock trick. I don't know how that would work with them crawling on the walls, though. So that would be odd. Ah, but yeah, that. There's a cave right up there, and my base is, like, right at the edge of rendering it in. I can fix it by dropping my view distance, or, well, basically dropping the view distance so it doesn't load the cave as often, but I need to find a new place to live. And I think I found a good candidate, but it's, uh... Well, the moon is setting. That is a huge moon on this map, too. I love it. Uh, but yeah, the moon is setting, so here soon we should be able to uh, to take a peek. Okay, I've got my panda on. Okay. Oh, one other thing, too. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Uh... Oh, wow, that's, there's a bit of a cooldown on that, isn't there? Uh, there's actually... Well, it's listed as skins, but it's actually armor from this mod. And the only downside is the good stuff requires uh, Alpha Raptor Claws. Which, yeah. I need to find some more Alpha Raptors. Because it requires one to craft it, and then if your armor breaks, it requires one to repair it. I have burned through all of my, my claws. Uh, but we can go here to skins. There's three different kinds. There's the top, pants, and boots. And depending on if you have a male or female character, depends on what they look like. But uh, this is... Well, I've got the skin on. My uh, spider wings. There we go. But yeah, this is the... Uh, all three pieces, actually, with uh, desert cloth gloves. But uh, not too sure about the heels. <laughs> Although, honestly, heels were first meant for uh, use in stirrups, so I think that's one popular theory anyway. Uh, we have different lights we can use as well. Uh, there's some foliage we can add in, including a gigantic flower. Awesome. Uh, there's some utility stuff, which is where you get the hay drying rack, the compactor, and then the feeding trough, which is basically what's called hay, hay bales. Uh, and then there's bridges you can make too, which is awesome. And they, they look great. Uh, let's see, utility now, but, uh, then we also have, uh, there's like the stone wall and whatnot. That's the gate. Here we go. Place on a normal fence foundation. Okay. Um, wood. Yeah, what will work. There we go. Oh, you can't even see the foundation. That's awesome. I like that. I like the wall, though. though. That is a really good-looking wall. All right. Well, it's uh, almost morning. There's that music. So one thing I also did is I basically ripped up my garden. And because all the, the different modded plants, oh, my good lord, they were... Producing so well. Um, I have now basically, well, still my little herb gardens. Uh, we still have the mushroom box over there. 
Uh, but now I'm just doing basically the vanilla crops. Uh, because I need... They are producing extremely slow as well. And... Well, compared to everything else. Uh, like, I checked it out and I had like 500 of like blackberries in a plot. And then I would check on, say, citronal, and there's like 25. Huge difference in the uh, rate of production. And uh, if we come over here to my little storehouse, which I am not looking forward to moving all this stuff out of here. Uh, like fruit. I've got a lot of fruit. So, yeah, we're good. And I've tried using some up to make meals. And the thing is, is I can't eat fast enough to keep up with what that garden was producing. So it... I ripped out most of it so I could get more crops. But I mean, I've got a ton of, you know, the summer salads I made. I've got a seafood platter. I've got a pot roast, I think, was another one I made. Uh, we've got the turnip mojito drink. We've got slurry, which, yeah, was just a way to use stuff up. Ah, here we go. Yeah, here's my pot roast. And I mean, it's just... Yeah, what went into the slurry again? Yeah, it was uh, berries, potatoes, and turmeric. It just doesn't even sound appetizing the least bit. And then there's the turnip mojito. Uh, and then we've got the fruit smoothie, which is what I'm drinking now. Blackberry, carrot, lemon, raspberry, strawberries. But yeah, it's... Uh, And it's sort of definitely a thing. But, oh, one thing I forgot about. Um, over here, we'll run into the fire spitter. Yeah, okay. Well, it finished up. I basically converted all my sugar that I well, had over here into honey. Uh, there are a few meals that I'll be making in the future. That poor pig is all pooped out. This thing here, oh good lord, this is insanely good. I mean, boom, seven fertilizer and we got seven more worms, which also have nitrogen. Alright, so, yeah, it's definitely late up today. This is normal gamma here, so. Um, let's pop out the Dononicus, it needs to, she needs to run around a bit and heal. Oh yeah, and we've got, these are all from an uh, eco-scorched earth. And yeah, I've got all the skeletons out here. we got, it's like a baby Bronto. Uh, we got a Rex, we got Stegosaur, Carno, Trike, and then Raptor. Which, I mean, those just look awesome. Okay. Oh yeah, here's one of the carts too that's hooked up to the uh, my unicorn. Uh, that is, yeah, the large cart. I found out you can, like, really stack in these, uh, storage boxes. I mean, definitely impressive. Uh, let's go over here to our teleporting pad, though. And... Redwood base. It's kind of a cool area I found. I think it might be a little friendlier on just, you know, the game running than uh, where I'm at right now. And hopefully less hats spawning. I really should have kept this. I, it takes forever to teleport this map. There we go. But, uh, yeah, there's actually tree platforms already here. There's four statues around. I guess one's, you know, I guess rolling on its back. There's, uh, there we go. Everything loaded in now. I'm over here just kind of relaxing by the water. And then over here just, I'm not sure what it's doing. Uh, do these have collision? Nope. Okay. Uh, but we got a couple of really nice little ponds here. We got this one here and then there's another one over here. Okay, maybe this isn't better for the loading-unloading thing. 
Oh, there is that resource cave close by here, isn't there? Dang it. Uh, we've got a couple of little walls with gates in them here, though. Well, not really gates, but, you know, gateways. Doesn't do a whole lot of good, though, whenever it doesn't come all the way over here. And, I mean, it's pretty standardish redwood, you know, enemies, whatnot. Wow. Yeah, come over towards this area and... There's a cave around here somewhere, isn't there? Can't go anywhere on this map without running into a cave. And... Wait. I did not mean to land on top. But we got, you know, pretty decent... Uh, Flat stone surface up here for anything, really. And, oh. Nope. Oh, you're supposed to grab hold of that one, though. I wonder if we can get up there, actually. I, I've got a grappling hook on me, so. And, oh. hey, awesome. And there's two layers inside each of these tree houses. And the bottom layer actually has, like, doorways here. Oop. There we go. And, alright. I'm thinking that'd be a good place to put, like, hanging ladders or what have you. Alright, but, uh... All in all, I'm kind of liking this area. We got the White Mountains over here. We've got the Redwoods over here. It's basically like sandwiched in between the two areas. And it's looking like now everything's loaded in around here. So like I can run around here without a problem. Probably get some zip lines running between the two platforms as well. I might set up a couple more because there's a empty Redwood tree there. Uh, this one I don't think you can put a platform on. I don't think we can do that one either. But we also have the Eco uh, Trees mod installed. So yeah, we got one there we could do. We have one here we could do. And... Yeah, but with Eco's Trees, we can actually set up our own custom redwood trees and put platforms on them. So. Alright, I need to actually name you, I think. Oh, and these things here are just insanely good for getting rid of mushrooms. Oh, what was I using? I think it was Skippy and uh, Skippy the Wonder Horse. And there we go. And okay. Well, Skippy lost all the green. Uh, but yeah, 643 rare mushrooms already. Oop. Yeah, it's like there's something that's loading and unloading when I'm right here. There's not something behind that waterfall over there, is there? But yeah, there's those little orange mushrooms everywhere, and they just uh, give nothing but stem berries, narco berries, and rare mushroom. Oh, hey, look, it's a horse. Level 90. Oh, there's a cave behind the waterfall. This looks like a small one, though, so I don't think it's going to load and unload on me. Is there anything living in the water? Doesn't really look like it, does it? There's a lot of obsidian down here, though. Alright, so, let's see.
let's get on out of here. But yeah, I've got that teleporter right there, so I can easily get stuff back and forth to here. Yeah, no, I think we might move into this area. Seems like it might be a little, uh, a little friendlier than, uh, the, the homestead. That, and if I have to move, I need to build something, and I'm feeling kind of lazy, and I think I'll just move into some tree platforms, because why not? But, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, the sign signing out. Have fun.